Welcome back to Sedlak Off-Road School. Today, we're reviewing Kawasaki's KLX 230RS. So a lot of you are familiar with Kawasaki's KLX range and especially the KLX 230R. Today we're riding the S model which at the base is the same bike but it has shorter suspension and brings the seat height down about an inch. So on the 230RS you're looking at 35.4 inches seat height. So if you're a shorter rider or if you're a female rider it makes this bike very beginner friendly. So we hear from a lot of beginner riders that want something bigger than the 140s and the 125 bikes. So that 230 range is very attractive uh, to riders that are looking to go out on trails. We hear from a lot of them though that the seat height is an issue, especially if you don't have a lot of experience, if you're not as confident. So having the option of the RS um, being lower, being a little bit more comfortable makes a massive difference when you're out trail riding. With 254 pounds, the bike looks a little heavy but that weight is very evenly distributed. So when you're riding, it actually feels a lot lighter than that. So don't be intimidated if you come from a smaller bike and on paper, you think that this bike might be a little bit too heavy for you. Once you're on it, you don't really feel it. One of my favorite things about the KLX range is just how easy these bikes are to ride. And the 230RS is no different. Right away, when you jump on the bike, you just feel at home. It's a really comfortable seating position. The seat here has a really good spot, goes way up the tank. So it's really easy for your weight transfer when you're making tighter turns. Um, the gap between the foot peg and the handlebars, even for taller riders, is in a really good, um, is a really good gap. So it's easy for you to ride standing up, to ride some more rocky, some more challenging terrain and still feel like you have full control of the bike. Kawasaki's 233cc four-stroke engine comes with a very smooth power curve. So if you're new to riding bigger bikes, um, you don't have to be afraid that the bike right away just runs away from you. It's very forgiving. It's really easy um, to ride through the gears, um, especially second to third, third to fourth. Um, a really good feeling bike with enough torque to even if you make a mistake in a higher gear the bike will pull you out of certain situations or as you can see in some of the clips when you're riding these uphills in third gear the bike has plenty of torque to get you up these hills so if you're wondering how kawasaki achieves an inch lower uh, seat height on the s you can see it pretty well here right so the the suspension is a little bit compressed that brings the bike down and it makes it easier to ride of course, now you're giving up a little bit of suspension travel, which overall is not a big issue, right? This is a trail bike. You're not going to do a lot of jumping. Riding some of the trails we're riding today, it's on the plusher side, like all of these trail bikes, but very comfortable to ride. So even though you're giving up a little bit of suspension travel, not a big issue when it comes to the performance of the bike. Big plus of this bike is a 1.7 gallon fuel tank. So if you're looking to join people that ride bigger bikes on a trail ride or something, this will get you a really good range. Another big plus, electric start, right? It's always really nice and easy to just push the button instead of having to kickstart the bike, especially when you're new to trail riding and you stall the bike from time to time. You just pull the clutch in, hit the button, and you're right back on trail. Two other big benefits are Number one, the bike's fuel injected, so really easy to maintain. You don't have to play around with the jetting. You just push the button, it starts, and it's ready to go. The other thing is that it comes with a full-size set of wheels. So you're running a 21-inch 21 in, in the front, an 18-inch in the rear. So when you're riding some more technical trails, some rutted stuff, some rocks, it's definitely a big um, plus to have wheels that can kind of support that riding compared to some of the smaller bikes where you're looking at 16 inch wheels, 17 inch wheels that make that type of terrain a lot more difficult.
this is it. This completes our day on the KLX 230 RS, and we've had a ton of fun. This is a great bike, a really easy bike to ride. So if you're in the market for a trail bike, for something that has a, uh, the performance of a bigger bike with lower seat height, this is a great option for you. We're gonna definitely add some of these to our fleet just because they're so beginner friendly. Big plus, obviously the bigger tank, six gear transmission. So if you wanna go for a longer trail ride, you don't have to worry about fuel capacity or the engine just over revving the entire time. So it's easy to mix this bike in with a group of bigger bikes and go for some fun rides. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and make sure to check some of our other videos. Every week we drop riding tips, bike reviews, and many other things of what we get up to here at Setlag Off-Road School.